so the next part in the sewage treatment process is sedimentation okay so in this video we are going to see what are the various types of sedimentation processes so sedimentation we have already seen in the water supply engineering okay so in the previous lectures you can go environmental engineering part 1 water supply engineering so in that you will get sedimentation means settling of particles okay so settling of particles now which particles so we have three types of impurities based on the size that is colloidal impurities suspended impurities and dissolved impurities so somehow we have to settle these particles now this settling of particles or we can say sedimentation it is divided into four types okay so there are four types of four types of settling now this is these four types are these four types are based on based on interaction interaction of particles okay so they are based on the interactions of particles so what are the four types so the first one that is called as type 1 settling type 1 settling so we have discussed this in the plane sedimentation so type 1 settling is also called as discrete settling it is also called as discrete settling that is settling of discrete particles now what is the meaning of discrete particles the particles will do not change their shape and size okay no change in shape or size so we found we find this in the plane sedimentation tank plane sedimentation tank okay now the second one is called as type 2 settling type 2 settling this is called as flocculent settling flocculent flocculent settling Where do we find this flocculent settling? We find this in sedimentation aided with coagulation. Sedimentation aided with coagulation. Okay, now what is the meaning of this flock or flocculent? See, these discrete particles, these discrete particles these are the alone particles which are settling okay so in the plane sedimentation tank the particles which get removed that is in the type 1 settling the particles which get removed are nothing but the suspended solids okay now smaller than suspended solids we have colloidal solids and dissolved solids so to remove these this particle size is very less okay the size of particles is very very less so what we do is we add we add some chemicals in the liquid so that these small small particles they stick to each other okay what we are doing see whatever the larger particles are there that is suspended particles these particles have certain weight so they settle directly or we can say easily at the bottom and they can be removed but these colloidal solids and dissolved solids their size is very very less and they will take a lot of time to settle down or even maybe they will not settle down also they will they will keep on being in suspension as their weight is very very less now what we will do is let's say this these are some colloidal solids so we will add some chemical here okay so we'll add some chemical here due to this chemical what will happen there will be interparticle bridging 
of this particle that means these particles will stick to each other now you can see the five individual particles have become a one a big particle so this big particle which you can say due to the addition of the chemical is called as a flock okay this is called as a flock now as this particle is bigger its weight is also higher okay so its weight is more so this settles easily so this is what we call it as flocculent settling and the chemical which is used the chemical which is used for interparticle bridging of these particles is called as coagulant coagulant okay and the whole process this whole process is called as coagulation i hope it is clear now so this big particles or this flocks which are settling down this settling this type of settling is called as type 2 settling and it is found in sedimentation aided with coagulation now the next type of settling that is type 3 settling type 3 settling so this settling is called as hindered settling hindered settling or sometimes it is also called as zone settling hindered settling or zone settling now where do you find this so we we find this in secondary sedimentation tank of activated sludge process so we find this in of activated sludge process okay now the last one that is type 4 so type 4 settling this type of settling is called as compression settling compression settling and we find this compression settling in secondary sedimentation tank secondary sedimentation tank of trickling filter okay now these are the most important types of settling or we can say in sedimentation so this part is very very important computer exam point of view so you should remember this which type of settling occurs and what is the name of the settling and in which unit it occurs okay now so one more point we'll discuss here that is called as primary clarifier so give the heading primary clarifier so this primary clarifier is similar to it is similar to primary sedimentation tank or we can say plain sedimentation tank plain sedimentation tank so the functions are also same so it has nearly same only so the primary clarifiers settle down the organic solids which are present in wastewater so primary clarifier settles down settleable organic solids present in wastewater
so it is just similar to that okay so slowly this organic solids which are present so they settle with the passage of time due to the settling of particles okay so same as the plane sedimentation time so the particles which are getting settled here are settleable organic solids now primary clarifier primary clarifier removes so it removes 60 to 70% 60 to 70% of organic solids and 20 to 30% of BOD okay so this is the percentage BOD which is removed now which type of settling is seen in the primary sedimentation tank or we can say primary clarifier so type 3 settling type 3 settling is found in primary clarifier so type 3 settling is called as what is the name of the type 3 settling hindered settling or zone settling hindered settling or zone settling so let's say this is a primary clarifier now in this primary clarifier the sewage is present and it is allowed to settle now as usual there are certain organic impurities which are present now the concentration of these impurities is higher as compared to the discrete particling settling okay so due to the high concentration what happens is that there is interparticle interparticle interaction of particles or we can say there is hindrance of the particles so there is hindrance of one particle to another see as the concentration is higher so when the particle settles its it collides with each other and there is certain hindrance to the settling of the particles so this hindrance is thereby given the name as hindered settling okay so due to the hindrance of particles so these are the important points about primary clarifier now in our diagram which we are studying right now uh, about this sewage treatment plant so before the biological treatment starts there is one sedimentation unit which is given okay so before the biological treatment starts there is one unit which is given here and this is called as primary clarifier okay now after the biological treatment is done there is one unit which is given here and that unit follows the same sedimentation principle and this is called as a secondary sedimentation tank okay or you can call it as primary sedimentation tank and this is a secondary sedimentation tank where is the location of this primary sedimentation tank is located before the biological treatment starts secondary sedimentation tank is located after the biological treatment is completed okay let's say trickling filter is there so after trickling filter the next step is the secondary sedimentation tank and after this secondary sedimentation tank the subsequent processes will start okay so that's it with the sedimentation concept now from the next video we will start the biological treatment that is activated sludge process and trickling filters.